ho, ho, Merry Christmas, or Feliz Navidad, because I'm wearing this lovely hat. Why am I wearing this hat and not a Santa's hat? I don't know. It's fine. Today, I would love to show you how to paint seven new holiday and Christmas paintings because we're celebrating Create for Christmas. Be sure to watch all the way to the end so you can vote on your favorite, and it can be made in a tutorial that I share with you here on YouTube. Let's start creating and let me show you how to paint these amazing Christmas and holiday paintings. The first painting for this year's Createful Christmas is a fun little twist on the classic Christmas tree. We're going to instead paint a palm tree to help celebrate those who are enjoying the warmth for this season. Step number one, we're gonna paint the sky. We're gonna start with dark blue and then we'll have teal in the middle and then we add some clouds over that teal color to reach up into the dark blue. Then we're gonna add in our sunset. So we want to have yellows and oranges, reds and purples as you get closer to the dark sky. And all of those colors are going to reflect onto the water. So we're just going to add them right below, going across and paint our ocean. You can totally paint this beautiful sunset. I'll show you every little step that I do in the full tutorial. So now we're gonna paint the palm tree with our black and we're just gonna paint the trunk here as a diagonal line and then we paint the palm fronds. You can put coconuts in the center and I start with the black but then I paint a little bit of the green over the top of those and then I'm gonna add in the lights and this is what makes it Christmasy and festive and I just add a little dot of yellow and some of them I add some white too. That's it, and after we've relaxed, you have this lovely Christmas tree painting. Our next painting is a Christmas classic. It's very beautiful, simple, and elegant. We're painting a Christmas poinsettia. The first step is painting the background a neutral color, so I'm gonna use this, and I'm just using very loose, choppy brush strokes, relaxing while I get this background down. With all my workshops, I provide a traceable and a reference photo to help you. This just helps you relax so you can just enjoy the painting part. So that you can just fill in the shapes, starting with the green leaves. You can add any details that you want to the leaves to make it fun. And then you can add other plants as well. So I'm gonna add in some pine looking tree needles and some sticks and just whatever you want. This is a great time to be creative or you can follow exactly what I'm doing. And now you can paint the red leaves. And you add in those red leaves and it starts looking really, really good. And while you paint along, I'm gonna teach you about acrylic painting so that you can become a better artist. I'll tell you the whys behind what I'm doing. Every painting I make is different so you can learn about your own personal preferences and how you would like to express yourself. I always encourage you to be creative and do anything you would like to your own paintings and the final details is a great time to do that. So I'm gonna add in a little bit of colors to my red leaves and yellow in the center and I'll tell you all the little things that I do in the end so that you can decide if you want to do them to your own painting or not. I'll ask you things like, do you wanna add a vase? I'll show you how, and you can decide if you want to add a vase to yours or not. The purpose of painting is to relax in the process and in the end have a painting with your personality in it. Next, we're painting a simple and sweet Christmas land. In the first step, we're gonna loosen up, relax, and grab some green paint and get that down on our canvas. And then we will take a little bit of the tan colors and put that in the top of it and leave the bottom green. Then you can draw the lamb using my reference photo or traceable, and then we're gonna paint the lamb. While we relax, I'm gonna teach you how to use your brush strokes to create texture so that it looks like lamb's wool. Then I'll teach you how to add highlights so that your lamb starts to take shape. We'll add a little pink to the areas of the ear and the nose. Now we're gonna add shadow areas to our lamb so that we can continue to give shape to our lamb. See what a big difference the shadow areas create against the highlights to create form so that your lamb starts looking like a lamb. So now we just need to add in some details on the face. We want an eye, nose, mouth, those kinds of things. Lambs are very symbolic for Christmas and Christ and that's why I wanted to show you how to paint a lamb and I'm also going to add in some final details this bell around the neck and just make it look a little Christmassy. These three paintings are really fun aren't they? I have more to show you. 
What would the holiday season be without a snowman? This year we're painting a playful one that you can personalize and decorate however you wished. We'll relax in this first step, just get this teal color background down, and then we can add a little dark blue to some areas. And if you want, the next step, you can either draw using my traceable, or you can just paint along. And I'm gonna start with the hat, filling in the hat. If you have traced it using my traceable in the workshop, then you just fill in all these shapes. And if you want to make any changes, you're always welcome to do that. I'm going to paint in the white areas, starting with the snow back here, give it a separation between the snow and the sky. And then it's just really easy. You're just filling in those shapes of the snowman with white. Between those shapes, we're gonna paint the scarf and you can paint it whatever color you want. And while we're painting together, I'll teach you why I'm painting in this certain order. So I'm gonna paint the shadow areas now. And then we'll start adding in the details to our snowman. So we'll finish our scarf. You can design your scarf however you wish. You can design your hat however you wish. You can add different shapes on top. Adding shadow areas and other colors will help your painting look more fun and playful. You can add details that are not part of your snowman. So you can add a star like me or snowflakes, Christmas trees. I'm going to add some writing. So I'm gonna add the white and then I will write over it. And that's just a fun little thing I'm gonna do at the end. I'll show you how you can use other supplies like pen with your acrylic. Of course, I will give you all the information that you need with the full tutorial so that you can successfully complete this workshop and have a cute snowman to show at the end. You can do this and we'll have so much fun even if you are a beginner painter. Next, we're painting three gnome friends bearing gifts for the season. We'll start out with the background and you can paint this background whatever color you want. You can even have a white background. Then you'll want to draw the gnomes and of course I will give you the traceable and the reference photo to help you do that. You can always make any changes you want to them in this step. And then we'll go ahead and start filling in the shapes. We'll paint the hats. You can paint them whatever color you want or follow right along. I'll show you how to add shadow and highlights to the hats to give them dimension how to add some details to them to make them fun. You can decide if you wanna be creative or really focus on working on your skills. So next we're gonna paint in the nose, eyes, and beards. We're gonna make them all a little different, just like we are, to give them some character. And don't you worry about these beards, I will teach you a loose way to get the look of hair. I'm gonna add shoes to the bottom of those beards. They're almost entirely covered up by their beards and it just makes it look really fun. We'll add highlights, and you can also add colors if you wish. I'll walk you through the last step that brings it all together, the finishing touches, and by the end, you'll have a finished painting that's really, really adorable and has a bit of your own preferences in it if you'd like. You can make it more religious by adding in what the three wise men were holding, or you can follow right along. I just love how friendly they look. I understand that this season can be busy and I wanna help you relax, so I created some really short paintings for you to do. This first one is a beautiful and elegant Christmas tree to hang on your wall. We'll start by loosely painting a background. This is just a very playful and loose painting. The next step, we're going to paint the wreath green. So we're gonna start with the circle around in the middle and then we'll go to the outside and we're gonna fill it in with just very loose, playful brush strokes. We'll let that dry and then we're gonna add some layers of other green colors to give it dimension. So we'll start with this color and then a lighter color and look what a difference that makes. Now we're gonna paint in the ornaments and that's just basically filling in these ball shapes. And you can choose whatever color you want. I'm going to use this pink color, then I'm gonna add in some other colors because we have reflections coming off of these glass balls. And we can use whatever's on our palette. We could decide to make each ornament a different color or we can make them all the same. I'm going to go ahead and make them all the same and I'm gonna choose my main color and the final details and I want it to be gold. And if you can believe it or not, I finished this painting in a half an hour and you can too. It's very loose, it's very playful, 
and it doesn't take a lot of time to enjoy the benefits of painting with me. There is so much more to this holiday season. This year, I've added a super simple impressionistic Hanukkah menorah. Whether you celebrate Hanukkah or you wanna paint some beautiful Christmas candles, this one is for you. This one's also very simple. We're gonna start with painting the background a dark blue color, and we're just gonna get loose and playful while we're painting. It just makes it easy to relax. Then we're gonna start shaping our menorah, and you can use the reference photo and the traceable in the workshop to help you with this. And this teal color is going to be a nice cool color in contrast with the warmth of the candle lights or flames. So let's begin adding those. To start, we want to add white to the flames. Again, we're doing this all very loose and playful. Now we'll add the yellow to them. While that dries, you can go ahead and add more detail to the menorah, only if you want to. I'll go ahead and show you how, and we'll be able to add a little bit more highlights down here by adding another layer of the teal. Then I go ahead and add a little orange to the flames and a little bit of white just on the yellow. If you want to add wicks, you can go ahead and do that. By the end of this painting, you'll have this lovely painting to show for all the relaxation that you felt. There you have them, all seven Create for Christmas painting tutorials. I would love to know what your favorite is. Leave me that in the comments. And there's also a link to where you can vote because the winner is going to be made in a tutorial for you to enjoy. Merry Grateful Christmas!